Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a random selector like this. So let's go. Hey again, so let's create a random selector filter here in effect house. Before we start creating the filter here, please make sure you have all the assets ready you want to use in this filter. I have already created some assets which you can use to follow along this tutorial. But of course, you can also use your own um, yeah, assets. You can download all the graphics with the download link in the description. You will need two types of assets. The first one is the start cut, which will be displayed before the filter starts selecting an option. And of course, you will need all the options you want to show here in your filter. So here in my example, this is the start cut. Where should I go next in Europe? And then um, yeah, it will um, randomize one of those options. So yeah, let's go back here in the Effect House Studio and now we will um, yeah, import all those assets to our project. For this we go to the left hand side to our assets panel and here we click on this little plus. Here we click on add assets, import and then from computer. The first thing we will import is the start.png file. This is just one PNG file which will be displayed at the beginning of the filter. So just click on open. When it is successfully imported, you can see it here on the left side in the assets panel. Then we go again to the plus go to import and then we select texture sequence. This is really important. So just click on it and then just select all the options you want to show in your filter. In my um, yeah, example here, those are 40 items. When you have selected them, just click on open. So now when we have successfully yeah, imported all our assets, we can start um, yeah, creating our scene. So we already see something here in our viewport. For, the, for this, we go to the left side to our scene panel and here we click on add object. Here we go to the face effect section and then here we select the face sticker object. After we have done this, we can already see a gray a um, yeah, square in front of our face which is following our face. So now for this we go to the left hand side and this plane is called image. I will just rename this to start. Then right click on it and duplicate because we also need um, something for our random selection. So also rename this. I will rename this to yeah, options. Now when we have done this, we want to move this a little bit up so it doesn't cover our face. So for this we select both of those um, yeah, planes, then we go to the right hand side and here we set for the position, let's say the y axis to yeah, 15, oh this is a little bit too high, let's say 12. Yeah. This looks pretty good to me, but at the moment it could be a little bit bigger. So go down to scale and also scale um, the X, I would say to 1.5 and also the Y to 1.5. So now it is a little bit bigger. And yeah, at the moment it is just displaying here this gray placeholder texture. So we will um, change this. So at the moment we have selected both of the two planes. So we have set both positions and the scale at the same time. So now we will just select the start plane, go to the right hand side here at material texture here it is set to default texture, click on it and here select the start texture. Then hit OK. Then select the options plane, do the same, go to the right hand side and here select the texture sequence under animated textures. So after we have done this, we can already see that yeah, it is randomizing, but it doesn't stop at one option. And normally now the start should be displayed. So let's do this. Let's go to our visual scripting and panel and do some magic here. Um, we can already see two patches here, the update and the start patch. Um, when we start the filter, the start card should be shown and the um, selections not. So we go here to the main graph, then we click on the plus here and add a node. So we search here for um, the set visibility node. So just import it 
and then just select the start output with the green enter input of the set visibility. For the target we take here the start plane and then here at visibility on we check this checkbox. So then we need another set visibility patch. We can also do this by just yeah, trying to um, just get the um, next output and then when you release your um, mouse we can also search for set visibility and it then it will be already be connected. Now here for the target select your options plane and here yeah leave the visibility off and now we can already see that here our start plane is visible. So um, yeah what does this do here? When the filter starts it sets the visibility on for the start plane and it sets it off for the options plane. So now we are programming our logic here in with visual scripting. So for this um, we need some nodes. Um, I want to start the filter by hitting the record button but of course you can already um, change it to tap to screen or automatically when the filter starts. But yeah I will show this later but now let's move on with the recording start because we can also test this here in the effect house. So for this again we go to the plus to add a new node and here we search for video record. So this is also a green node um, and here we have a lot of trigger outputs. So the first thing is that when we hit the record button we want to have a little bit of a time delay because um, when um, users watch the video recorded with this filter it should also display here this start card so they know what the filter is about. So for this we um, yeah, need a new node um, from, and we connect it with the on start output. So just do this and then here search for transit by time. This is more or less a delay node here in effect house and here we can set a duration at this transit by time. Um, note. So I will set this duration to 1.5. So we have 1.5 seconds before the filter starts rotating. So the next thing is that we want to switch the visibility so the start frame gets un invisible and the options um, yeah, are visible. So for this we take the begin output of the transit by time node and then here we search again for a set visibility node. So here again for the target select the start target and leave the visibility on um, yeah, disabled. So then again we need another visibility node again with the next output just drag it and release the, the mouse key and then also search for set visibility. So and here select for the target the options target hit OK and here turn the visibility on. Now we can already test it. Just hit here the record button and it's already um, yeah, flicking through but there is no time delay because uh, yeah, we took here the wrong output of the transit by time. We don't want it to give the next signal at the beginning. We want it at the end. So delete it and then yeah, connect this one and then try it again. Now 1.5 seconds and then it will start. But at the moment it won't stop so it will just go through all the options and will never stop. So let's change this. I will just restart the filter um, because yeah, we need some animations going on here. So for this we also take the next output of the set of the last set visibility patch and here we also need again a transit by time because we want to shuffle through the options for let's say three seconds so we set the duration of this patch to three and then we also need an animation patch so for this we go to add node and here we search for animation and here we can find an animation texture player node so yeah after creating the animated texture player we can connect the end output of the transit by time patch with the play from to input from the animated texture player. 
Here we will select our last picture so it will flicker through randomly through all the um, yeah, options and then will rent uh, will land randomly on one option but for this we need a variable to yeah let it land on one um, option so for this we go here on the left upper side at the visual scripting um, window we have my items when we click on it we can here see there are variables there are no variables yet but when we click on the plus we create and create a new variable i will call this um yeah random on the right side we can see it's uh, the name the type the container and the default value we leave this as it is and then we go back to my items and here next to the variable we can see this little circle with create node click on it and here we click on set variable after we have done this we can see that there is a new node in our yeah visual scripting window and now we can just close the my items sections and also here the details so here we can save some variables but we need also a random generator so we can here um yeah set a, a random number so for this we add a new node and of course we need a random node so here we have to set a minimum and a maximum amount we leave the minimum amount at zero and the maximum will be um yeah how many um, options we have in our texture sequence we have at the moment 40 um, textures in it but yeah it starts to count at zero so we have to set the maximum amount to 49 so yeah just set this maximum amount to the amount of options you have minus one we need also to, to round this number because this will not be a, a integer it will be like 1.2 25 so we have to round it up or round it down so we need a round node for this and then we can connect the razor output of the round node to the value input of the random node so now we just have to trigger the set input of the random so yeah when it so that the random also gets set so for this we need to connect um, one trigger output to the random set input so for this um, we can just do one output um, one connections with an output here so when we also want to um, connect the end push to the set input of the random it is possible but then this connection gets um, yeah gets lost so but we here have another output the trigger output of the number so we can just connect this to the play from two to the end of the animation texture player and here our value um yeah we connect this output the the value output to the from and also to the two input of our animated texture player and there is one more thing we have to do here at the animated texture player and this is that we have to set our animated texture to our um, texture sequence with all our options. So yeah, just select it here and hit OK. And then you will see that here the texture sequence is selected. And now we should have a working random selector filter here in Effecto. So yeah, just click on record. 1.5 seconds, it starts, 3 seconds, and then it lands on one option um, at the moment it is flicking through the options from um, 0 to 39 here in my example we can um, yeah change it change it that it is randomly so go to your animated texture to your texture sequence then go to the right hand side and here set the order to random and when you have done this it, it will be randomly you can also change here the frames per second and the duration um, I will set the frames per second to 50 so it will be a little bit faster flicking through so again hit on record and then yeah, it is a little bit faster than before so now at the moment it is starting with the record start I already always recommend starting filter with the record start but if you want to start it with a screen tab you can also change this here just um, yeah search for a screen tab um, node 
and then here just connect here the next output with the start input of the transit by time and delete the video record input and now when you tap here on the screen it also starts with a screen tap so yeah you can just um, yeah, adjust the filter to your needs um, I like it with the video record as said so I will leave it like this and yeah, delete the screen tap patch so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you if yes give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye